Hello everyone, it's Benjamin Wara and welcome back to another video. In this video, we're going to be taking a look at how to implement tile maps in Unity. Let's begin. Tile maps are a very popular technique in 2D game development. It consists on building the game world out of small, regular shaped images called tiles, out of tile sets. Now we're going to jump into Unity and create a level using this technique. Let's get into it. The first thing that we want to do is to import our tile set and select some settings. The first thing that we want to do is to go ahead and select the sprite mode to be multiple, the pixels per unit to be the size per individual tile. Then because I'm using pixel art, I'm going to go ahead and select no compression and a filter mode of point no filter. Afterwards, we want to go ahead and apply the changes and open the sprite editor. In here, we want to click on slice and then we want to grid by cell size, put our size in, select smart and then go ahead and click slice. Now we have the individual tiles that compose the tile set. Hit apply and you can see these in the projects window. Afterwards, we want to create a 2D game object called tile map of type rectangular. When you select the tile map game object, you'll see a grid. In this grid, we will paint our tile map using a tile palette. The tile palette window can be found under window, 2D and tile palette. On the window, we want to create a new palette. You can name it whatever you want and make sure that it's type rectangular. Afterwards, just hit create. Now to save it, I personally just create a new tile map folder and save it just inside. Next up, we want to go ahead and drag our tile set into the tile palette window. And this will just assign the tile set to the tile palette. Also, I'm gonna save this inside the tile map folder in another folder to avoid clutter. To start painting our levels in, we can use the tools available inside of the tile palette, such as the brush, which paints one tile specifically, the rectangular tool, which paints filled rectangles, the paint bucket tool, which fills up gaps, and the eraser, which erases tiles. As to begin painting, you can just select any tile inside of the tile palette and then apply the tile in the scene. Now I'm just gonna paint a very simple level. In some cases, tile sets may face some problems, such as having the background leak through the scene. For example, my Minecraft right here has a blue background that comes from the camera. The way to solve this is by adding more tile maps to our grid component and then changing the sorting layer of each one. After we have created the second tile map, we want to go down to the tile map renderer and change the ordering layer to be higher than the first tile map we created. This way, every single tile drawn will be on top of the previous one, so we won't have the background of the camera showing up on our tiles. As you can see, clearing up the tiles in the first tile map layer, we can go ahead and put them back in into the second tile map layer and see that the background does not appear. So depending on your tile set, you will be able to create new tile map layers in order to create the level that you want. And that's basically it. Anyways guys, I hope you liked the video. Leave a like if you did and consider subscribing if you're new to the channel. Also, make sure to leave a comment down below of what would you like me to do next. I'll read it and I'll consider it. Anyways guys, goodbye.